All right, this is episode 41 um, of one video a day during this quarantine, and I have Angela Rippin, someone I just adore. She is fantastic, and um, I could probably name off your whole resume of all the stuff you've done, but currently she's working um, with the Spokane Shock. So wouldn't you um, just tell us a little bit about what you're doing, a little bit about yourself, and we'll go from there. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, Sorry, I'm in my robe. This is just how today yeah. happens. <laughs> so um, anyways, I'm a single mom of two. I have a preteen and a toddler. So you can only imagine, um, you know, what quarantine looks like right about now. Hence why you can't see the rest of my house behind me. Um, but yeah, I just started working with the shock about a couple months ago when they decided to come back uh, to Spokane. But then all this craziness happened. So now I'm working from home with the kids and making crock pot meals and all that good stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so what is your title with the uh, Spokane Shock? So I'm an account executive, but I do a lot of the marketing and communications. Um, right now I'm wearing many hats. So I even answer the front office phone on my cell phone, which makes it pretty exciting during, you know, temper tantrums or toddler breakdowns. So, but a lot of people that have called, they've been totally understanding and awesome. So we have some pretty great fans who are excited that we're back here. Oh, that's great. I know I saw that you guys, you were doing stuff with the team. You guys were doing stuff at Dryfly. Yeah, so we did a pretty cool, um, like a volunteer thing with them because they were doing the Spokaneitizer. We have some pretty great connections. Um, and yeah, so we started going over there uh, in the middle of the week and helping them fill up and get bottles and things like that. And then on Saturdays, we would head out. And I think one day we had probably 15 of the coaches and the players come out and they got to go basically walk the, not walk the streets, but they have different lines set up. Yeah yeah, the guy's got to go out and hand those out. And, you know, just, it's nice that, you know, some of these people and these fans can see that they're, you know, yes, they're athletes and they play for the shock, but they're real down to earth guys. I love that. Absolutely. I saw that. And I thought it was so great that you guys were doing that. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun right now, just because we aren't playing um, and everything was kind of pushed back. Uh, we're trying to do a lot more volunteer stuff. So I know we, we're talking with Second Harvest. Um, the uh, Blessings Under the Bridge is another one that hopefully we have something about to be set up for uh, this weekend and next weekend. So different things like that. We're really trying just to get, um, you know, involved and get, we have six guys that are here in town to actually live here. The other four decided to stay because it was just a better place for them compared to where they would go home to. So um, while they're here, we're trying to get them involved places. Keep them busy. I like it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I guess, I mean, you have talked a little bit about how this stay at home has affected you. I mean, how has it affected your whole life, this uh, quarantine? Holy smokes. Well, I think I wear my robe on a daily basis. <laughs> Uh, just around the house. Um, you know, it's been really nice. We just recently moved to uh, the north side of Spokane. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a huge backyard. So not days like today, but um, other days are beautiful and we get to get outside. Uh, my daughter's doing uh, work from home as well. So that's been really interesting because she's, you know, zooming with her teacher and her classmates. So we're kind of we have one schedule and it's like, okay, now you can use the computer because you have a Zoom and then you use the computer. Um, so that's kind of fun. We also have, uh, she does like Zooms with her practice, uh, for practices yeah. with her basketball team. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's one of those, like, you just never thought it was possible until it was the only thing that you had. And I think, you know, she's having a little bit of a harder time because, you know, she doesn't get to see her teammates and her friends and all that kind of stuff. So, but she's hanging in there. She's a big help with the little guy. Yeah, no kidding. So I know Spokane is a lot. It's until May 31st now. Um, Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> so let's just say things are lifted and things can go, can, you can kind of go back to normal. What's the first thing you would like to do as soon as quarantine is lifted? Um, I would, I don't know, I would just love to get together with my girlfriends and, you know, go out to dinner. <laughs> that, would, that would be nice. Uh, you know, all those little things that we kind of took for granted before, um, you know, this is, I feel like really put stuff into perspective on how lucky we are to be able to go out, you know, to events and, you know, uh, take the kids. I remember my daughter asking once, you know, can we go to 
the um, carousel and I was just, you know, I was exhausted. I didn't get good sleep and I was like, no, I don't want to go. But it's one of those things where now I don't care how tired I am. I don't care, you know, how much I didn't sleep. It's like, yes, let's get out of the house. Let's start enjoying those things that we took, you know, advantage of and for granted. Oh, I agree totally. Um, so what's the worst and best thing of your job? So I guess you've only been working in this position for such a short <laughs> amount of time. What's your favorite thing and least favorite thing? You know, I, I have a couple of both. I would say my favorite thing is I have a football background. So I think it's just being surrounded by the sport and the people in the sport. You know, everyone from all the players to, you know, the, the fun people we get to work with as far as like Pop Warner, bringing them into the games and recognizing them and the kids. And I mean, it's just the whole aspect. I, I really think that's like my favorite part is, you know, the fans, the coaches, you know, even the guys. I mean, they work so hard and we have some really great guys on the team this year. So, you know, I was really excited to see them play. Um, I, you know, love being in front of, you know, and on the field, that kind of thing. But I also love, you know, being behind the scenes a little bit now, which has been a lot of fun. So there's been a lot of adjustment. Um, and I, you know, I haven't really found the worst thing other than it's this pandemic has been yeah. really hard to deal with. Um, I think it's been, I would say challenging just because, um, you know, it was out of our hands as far as the season being canceled. So we had to move the schedule back and we're going into the 2021 season. Um, so it's been a little hard, you know, trying to communicate with people, especially, you know, being a single mom at home, trying to pick the phone up in those little pockets of our life. Um, you know, that we can have conversations and say, you know, we're not going anywhere. We're here to stay. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, these are the circumstances and this is what we have to do. Yeah, I agree. Um, so if you could give one piece of advice to the younger Angela, what would that be? Oh, jeez. I, I have a little work to ask this question. <laughs> oh, oh, there's so many things. Um, oh, goodness. I, th I think the biggest thing I remember, and it's crazy because, you know, now, now my daughter, she'll be 11 here in less than a month. And I think the craziest thing is remembering being that age and, you know, cause you don't remember being a toddler. So it was, it was, it wasn't relatable, but now that she's at an age that I remember and I can go back to, um, you know, sports wise, friends wise, uh, memories, things like that. Um, I remember wanting to grow up so fast. Like I always wanted to get through the next grade and I always like, I wanted to graduate. I wanted to work. I wanted to travel. I wanted to do all these things. Um, so I never really enjoyed the moment. And I think that's like the biggest thing that, um, you know, with my daughter, I'm like, enjoy where you're at. Enjoy you know, playing basketball at this age, enjoy these friends that you have, enjoy, you know, she's in fourth grade and I'm like, enjoy this and not that she's at school, but, um, you know, it goes now that I'll be 30 this year, <laughs> my dirty 30. Um, now, you know, that I'm turning 30, I look back and I'm like, gosh, I wish I really just would have embraced, um, you know, growing up a little bit more. I wish I would have enjoyed, um, high school, I always saw school as being um, just hard and difficult and just wanting to get through it. Um, so I wish I would have really dove in deep to high school, got involved more, um, you know, with the different programs they have and the clubs and, you know, the after school stuff, uh, different things like that. Like, I wish I just would have slowed down. Um, but when I look at it, I feel like I, you know, took the fast lane on the Audubon through the past 30 years. <laughs> So I feel like that would be my long version of piece of advice. <laughs> that is perfect. So how can um, you you help the community? You're involved in a lot of things, and um, yeah, yeah. I met you through like when you started doing your fitness stuff, or you had opened up the 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 mom. Is it fit to I can't fit remember. for mom? Yeah. yeah, started that in the Coeur d'Alene Post Falls area. Um, and you've done, I mean, what I've known, you've done a lot of great things. How can we as the community support you, the shop or anything along those lines? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, definitely always the social media stuff, um, you know, hopping on and, you know, we're the only, 
uh, football team that's in the area. So, you know, supporting us locally, supporting, you know, and at one point we were the largest uh, sports team in the area because we play in the arena and we sold out for, I think it was 56 games or something like that. Don't quote me, but something around those lines. <laughs> but it's like, no, this is successful. Um, but there were some kind of ups and downs there when there was some renaming, some re-ownership, things like that. Um, so yeah, definitely just supporting us and coming back here. Um, you know, you can always email me if you're looking more for like volunteer opportunities as far as like game day, or we also have, you know, getting us involved with any sort of organization, um, or charities and foundations, different things like that. Um, I've tried to reach out to every local one possible, <laughs> but, um, you know, reaching out to me, I can give you, I was going to say, I can give you my email and stuff if you wanted to post yeah. it. And an email, a quick email um, to me or a phone call or anything like that. We're, we're happy to set stuff up, but that would probably be the most supportive. Perfect. Well, thank you so very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>